five steps in my Obsidian book tracking workflow. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about my book management workflow. I've previously been using Notion to track my books that are on my Kindle and sync the highlights I've taken. But as time went on, I've started using Obsidian as my day-to-day -day personal knowledge management system, which resulted in less focus on Notion. I've tried to migrate from Notion to Obsidian for this workflow previously, but I've consistently failed as Notion's main feature, the relational database, always had an advantage. But with a new plugin called DataView, I managed to close the gap and I've moved the WISP workflow to Obsidian. Hopefully, by the end of the video, you'll create a book tracking workflow of your own and better understand the DataView plugin to manage similar use cases. If you're interested in more techniques, tools and hacks for your workflow, please subscribe to my channel. In my workflow, I have five stages. In stage one, I look for recommendations for books to add to my reading list. In stage two, I track prices to purchase my books when there is a sale. In stage three, I update my book note to reading and start tracking my reading. In stage four, I add highlights to the book via Kindle and sync these to Obsidian by Readwise. Finally, when I completed the books, I update my book note and link them to Kindle and highlight notes. I also run through various prompts to document my thoughts in the book. Let's look at each stage in detail. I get book recommendations from various sources. These include YouTube, mainly from productivity channels or book summary channels, Goodreads website, this recommends books based on reviews I have left, Websites like Medium often list out books that other people recommend. Online newsletters provide recommendations from peers I look up to. And book summary sites such as Blinkist, Shortform and Get Abstract provide me an opportunity to discover books, read a summary before buying the book. When I find a book I like, I add it to Obsidian. Let's look at how I add it. I created a folder to keep my book notes. I create a note. In the note, I add the title and apply a book template. The purpose of the template is to provide metadata about the book. The metadata starts and ends with three dashes. Between the dashes, I have different values. The current values I have are author, title, good read ratings to tell me which book to read first, genre, date read tells me when I completed the book, app page and total pages lets me track my progress. Progress is an emoji bar chart that I have manually updated to see how far I am from completing the book. Finally, a status. I currently list if the book is unpurchased, unread, reading or read. It is worth checking with preview to make sure you don't have any YAML errors. Often I get these if there is a colon in the book's title, so I need to put them in speech marks around me. Another common reason is I don't leave a space after the colon in the value name. This metadata is used to give me different views of the data using the data view plugin. Once I've found a book I like to read, I usually buy the Kindle ebook version. I do this by adding the book to my Amazon wishlist, or in the case of biographies, onto my Audible wishlist. With the Amazon wishlist, I usually check manually if the prices have changed, but I've looked at Keeper and Camel 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 to automate the price checking. Another service I've used is BookBub, which sends you the daily update of books that are reduced in price for topics you are interested in. For audiobooks, I have found that Amazon offers the audiobook cheaper than buying it on Audible if I already have the Kindle book version. Once I purchase a book, I update the book status to unread. The Data View plugin lets you query your notes and bring back data in a table format. I've used this to create a dashboard to see different views of my book notes. Data View is a community plugin, so I thought it'd be worth showing some of the queries I've created and how I'm using them. So I created a note to act as a book dashboard called, unmentionably, as the library. The first view I'm going to show you is the complete library view. The view brings back all the book notes in a folder and lists the metadata fields within them. The first line of the query tells Obsidian it is a data view query. The table line tells the data view plugin that it is a table with the listed columns to display. In my metadata, I use underscores to represent spaces. The reason for this is I got error messages with data view if I used spaces. If you want to see spaces, you can use speech marks to show the table headings the way you want. The from line tells DataView plugin to look at a specific folder. The final line tells DataView the query has ended. When we select preview, Obsidian uses DataView to display a table with the results. By using the basic query, you can use a where statement to filter out your results. I've set up a few that I would like to show you. The first brings back all the books that I'm reading. Here, I added a where line and filtered that line to bring back results where the status equals reading. The data view allows many other filterings, which users can combine with and or statements. In the final example, I created a what to read next view. In this query, I used a sort line 
to sort unread books with my Goodreads rating. You can choose to order by sending with ASC or descending with DSC. DataView is a flexible plugin with a lot of potential and continuous improvements, and I hope to use it for many more of my data-driven workflows. If you have seen my previous videos, you know that I use Readwise to access my Kindle highlights. Since that video, someone from the community has helped create a plugin to help sync data between Readwise and Obsidian. There are two plugins, but I'll be looking at the Readwise community plugin. Let's look at how I set it up. Once you install the plugin, you need to provide it with a Readwise API token in the plugin settings. Once added, you can download your recent Kindle highlights as well as other recent highlights. When you start, you might need to download older Kindle highlights yourself as the plugin downloads only the recent ones. I set up the plugin to download the highlights into its folder. I've added a header template so that Readwise notes have metadata that I can search using DataView. My header template is structured as follows, title, URL, author, type, which tells me if the highlight is from a book, and the number of highlights. Users can add the folder and the location of the header template to the Readwise community settings. Each time I add a highlight on my Kindle, it gets synced to Readwise, and each time I open Obsidian, the plugin downloads highlights from Readwise into a note into my vault. Another reason I use Readwise is supplemental highlights. These are highlights taken by other people. Usually if I have an audiobook, I use these as my highlight since I cannot add my own. If you add these to your highlight, Obsidian can download these highlights via the Readwise community plugin. If you don't have Readwise, there is a Kindle highlight plugin that might do the same features. Once I've finished a book, I complete the following task. I update the status to read. I link to the Readwise note, so I reference to the highlights I've made. I use my source notes template prompts to help me capture my thoughts on the book. Let's have a quick look. So my current prompts are as follows. How does this information relate to my ideas? How and where will I use it in my ideas? How can it help me answer the questions that I'm asking? How does the information relate to other information on the topic? What links can I make to other research? Does the author say anything new or of particular interest about the subject? Do I have further questions? Is there anything I don't understand and I need to follow up? Is the author saying anything that I can't entirely agree with? Why do I disagree? And what conclusions can I make from this book? These prompts help me to analyse the book to develop my own ideas and answers. The DataView plugin has added an extra dimension to Obsidian. It may never completely replace Notion, but I think it will enable me to transition my workflows. My current book management workflow is by no means perfect, so I'd be interested if you can think of ways to improve it, and let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and like if you found this helpful. If you enjoyed this video, check out my video on Readwise, some of its features and alternatives to it.